Okay, so what I have here is a 2013 late model MacBook Pro Retina. Everybody's been talking about Stain Gate, I think is what it's called, about the oleophobic uh, display being jacked up. As you can see, this MacBook here is all jacked up. So I'm going to make this short and simple, really quick. Go out. If you have this issue, as you can see, it's clean there. And I'm still working on it. So there's this wonderful, wonderful product, and it's called Ceramabrite. Now, basically, really what it's for is your glass stove tops. So it's meant to clean and polish your glass stove top. So what I recommend you do is go out and grab Ceramabrite. And don't be afraid to use this. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a small corner of it. And it will literally clean your MacBook screen and get rid of that. So look, see this section right here? Watch this. It doesn't take much effort at all. It's just a little bit. Look at that. Just like that. Now watch. I'm going to rub this in. And essentially what's, what you're going to see is I'm not using a lot of pressure. Just a little bit of pressure. And actually I'm going to take that too. And I'm going to come all the way up here. Now you just want to rub this in. And just keep rubbing it and you'll actually fill it underneath the actual scouring pad which is a non-scratch because this stuff is meant to just polish and take off any debris from your actual glass stove top and as you can see i'm just constantly working it back and forth i'm not putting a lot of pressure you don't see the screen bowing or anything like that i'm just working it until it actually dries out or somewhat dries out and look I'll even use a little bit left up here just to kind of show you guys this is by far the quickest way to get rid of that stain so as you can see that there it's all cleaned up I'm gonna take my microfiber towel and I'm just gonna rub it down it's kind of hard to do it with one hand but I'm gonna show you guys just bear with me. And this is a used MacBook, so of course it don't look as great. And just like that, boom. That same section, look, it's gone. Literally gone. Just so you can see again. I'm going to do a small little section right here. Now you see that? See that discoloration? I told you, I'm not taking a lot of time to do this at all. Like I say, Ceramabrite cooktop cleaner. It removes tough stains. And it literally is non-scratching. So, it's meant for countertops. You just make sure you shake it up really good, quarter size amount, and rub with a dry paper towel or a ceramic bright cleaning pad. It'll buff the surface with a cloth or a paper towel. And then basically I'm gonna go back over it and uh, I'm gonna actually use it uh, like, a, like a spray wax or something and go back over it just to get the haze off. As you can see there, it says it's used for porcelain, marble, Glass, which is the most important thing, glass, shower doors, fiberglass baths, pots and pans, and stainless steel. But only on sinks, so you don't use it on any application uh, appliances. So this stuff here, I kid you not, it's awesome. And if you want, it comes with a little applicator piece that you can actually use that so you don't have to worry about your hands being so tired. The literal piece wraps around that and it goes from the, the, the scrubber. So this piece here wraps around this and you use that so you use equal form of pressure when you're doing it. But look, as you can see this spot right here, like I said, I'm only using a corner of it. And you'll see as I work it, it's literally going to go away. You can actually see underneath how the actual screen is getting brighter 
the reflection from the light above is getting brighter. And this ain't no magic, this ain't no trick. Like I say, I'm gonna show you guys. Look, I mean literally. You know, I've looked online, I've searched for a million and different ways to try to figure out how to get rid of this. I wind up buying this MacBook Pro uh, with the retina display at an astronomically low price. I only paid 280 bucks for it. You know, I know it's a little bit older. I just upgraded the operating system uh, to Mojave and that was just an eyesore for me. And I thought that maybe I was never gonna be able to fix it. Uh, as you can see, like I say, you can go in multiple directions, whatever it takes to clean it up for you. And like I say, you can go back over it again with the same stuff and really get a really fine polish on it. I use this stuff on my glass stove top. So I figured, why not? I tried the Goo Gone. I had that sitting here too. That seemed to work, but that took a lot more effort than what I'm doing right here. I kid you not. Look, I'm going to go in and And then I'm going to wipe it. And look, there's no residue here because it's literally lifting it and polishing it at the same time. It's breaking it down to a micro. And like I said, that haziness that you see is just popping up from my camera because it's literally just like an oil. So, uh like I say, I'm going to polish it back out, and it'll be good to go. There you go. So, like I say, use at your own caution, but like I say, it definitely works for me. Um, it gets rid of this eyesore, and I'll finish this up. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.